images. I thought I saw you clearly, but it was only a reflection of what I wanted you to be. I thought I heard you honestly, but the words you said and the words I heard were out of sync, like some badly dubbed Japanese Godzilla flick. I, pro I projected what I wanted onto your screen and was sad when I noticed I was wearing 3D glasses. How can I be angry at the popcorn for thinking the chocolate kisses are too salty? <laughs> Mummy portrait. Man with receding hair. You peer out at me from your humidity-controlled box, this clear sarcophagus, burial shroud torn from your mummified remains. Your portrait lives on in this hushed museum tomb. Your sharply painted eyes, forever watchful. Your thin lips parted slightly as if about to speak. Once the proud work of an ancient artist, now cataloged by a bookish curator who simply identifies you as man with receding hair. <laughs> and as I gaze at your portrait through the glass, I catch my reflection staring back and wonder if this is the eternal life you had envisioned. Then again in 2,000 years, will anybody look upon my image? <laughs> Jagged Labyrinth. As I step out of the labyrinthine wanderings of my soul, only now can I begin to make sense of the last few years and their dark, twisting tunnels of loss and fear. Fear and panic so palpable at times I could offer it a cup of tea. Oh, hello, fear. C come on in, take a seat. Right, right, you've, you've already done that. <laughs> well, let me look at you by candlelight but that is all the light I could muster as I probed those midnight hallways. <laughs> Tell me, Fear, are you here to warn me of actual danger or teach me some grand life lesson? Or are you simply a concoction of the mind meant to frighten me into clinging more desperately to my ego self? Fear did not answer, though my panicked heart slowed its pounding. As I stumbled haphazardly through the landscape of my own jagged mental formations, I found myself bumping into darkened mirrors of grief. Like some nightmarish carnival funhouse, it seemed everywhere I turned I could not escape the specter of loss. On a clear South Georgia fall morning after a breakfast of biscuits and gravy, I hugged my little brother goodbye knowing then it was for the very last time. Later that same night, that same night, a 30-year friendship was shattered over a sushi poo-poo platter. Eighteen months later, the shards still poke through my consciousness in moments unbidden. Last year, the unrelenting specter continued to follow me as I walked through the gray carcass of my burned-out condo. My heart was broken so many times in so short a time. I am amazed it still beats. Ah, that is the nature of the resilience of this red pulsing organ. She who never gets a day off. This commander-in-chief of the physical body, the emotional self, the soul. Oh, my heart, let me not break down, but break open to dance more fully in the dance of life. <laughs>